All right, guys, so PGA Tour 2K21 have announced two more pro golfers for the game that are going to be in the game, that are going to be in the career mode. I'm still waiting for confirmation on whether you can play as the pros in quick play. As it stands, I think that they're only going to be in the career mode and you're going to be able to play against them and not, um, not as them, per se, but we'll see. That's something that I think is maybe will be added in because it's highly requested already that people want the pros in the game. So we're going to look at the character models here. Look at the announcement. Loki's coming in to say hello, apparently. But let's switch over. So here is Matt Kuchar. He was the first one to be announced outside of Justin Thomas. And the character model for Kuchar actually looks pretty good. I see a lot of people kind of shitting on the graphics, but... I don't think the graphics are like the most important thing about um, this game anyway. Like the golf club had the same graphic. Well, this is even a little bit better than the golf club graphics, I feel like. So it's not a big deal to me. And this character model looks pretty decent. I think that looks that looks like Matt Kuchar. So yeah, I mean, I, I'm excited about that. I don't really like Matt Kuchar. Um, so whatever, it's kind of whatever and a, a whatever announcement to me. Both of the announcements today of the golfers are kind of a little bit whatever. But today we're going to go through as well our predictions for maybe the golfers that will come after this. Because um, this leads me to believe that none of the EA, the, the golfers that were in the Rory McIlroy game are going to be in this game. So that rules out Rory, that rules out um, Dustin Johnson, it rules out Ricky Fowler, it rules out Henrik Stenson. It rules out a lot of my favorite golfers, unfortunately, Ian Poulter. Um, so let's have a look. The other go golfer announced today is Bryson DeChambeau. So as you can see, this is his character model here. I can't really tell if this is decent from, di from this angle. I I'd need to see a little bit more, but it doesn't look particularly bad either, and he has the cap, he has the Puma gear on, and he's looking kind of dapper there. I'm not the biggest fan of him either, though, so, um, you know, these two announcements don't don't excite me in particular, but they're both solid golfers. They're up there in the world golf rankings, and that's what we're going to look at next to kind of have a sneak peek at maybe who the remaining seven golfers could be, eight golfers, rather. Nope, sorry, nine, because I think there's 12 in total, um, 11 outside of Justin Thomas. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go through and look at the people that weren't in the Roy McIlroy game or didn't come in as DLC. Obviously, Tiger Woods isn't going to be in it. That's a certainty. He would be on the cover if he was going to be in it. And I would imagine maybe if the pl if players like Brooks Kepka and John Ram were going to be in it, that they would have been announced today unless they're saving the best for last in that kind of way. And they're starting off with Kuchar and, and Deshaun and they're going to bring in uh, better golfers as they go along. Because Bryson DeChambeau is 13th in the world golf rankings. There's quite a few ahead of him. Uh, Matt Kuchar there is in 17th. So uh, let's go through and see what kind of golfers could be in the game. So I'm going to say John Ram is a definite possibility because he wasn't in Roy McIlroy. He's uh, relatively new to the top of the golf world. So so he's definitely one that could be in the game. Uh, Brooks Kepka is another one that is possible for the game because he wasn't in the Roy McIlroy game. He wasn't a prevalent golfer back then. And now he's really burst onto the scene. But also, I think Brooks could have been maybe on the cover if he was going to be in this game, uh, due to how how good of a golfer he is now. But Justin Thomas, to me, is probably like a bigger name than Brooks Kepka. So it's still possible that Kepka could be in this game. But I'm starting to doubt it as we go along. If we've seen that Kutcher and DeChambeau have been announced, I'm not sure that Kepka is going to be in this game. Justin Thomas is in the game. Uh, he's the fourth best golfer in the world, and he is the cover athlete. We have Dustin Johnson. He will not be in the game, I'm assuming, uh, based on him... Probably having our EA probably having the rights to Dustin Johnson's likeness, unfortunately. And I imagine uh, my friend Tyler was saying that for these kind of games, they sign like 10 year contracts to their likeness. So it's unlikely that we'll see Dustin Johnson in PGA Tour 2K21. Adam Scott, I'm pretty sure wasn't in Rory McIlroy. So Adam Scott is a possibility and that would be a really good one to have in the game. I just li I'd like to see him in the game. Good looking guy, nice swing, you know, it would be good to have Adam Scott, he's, he's a, a major winner, it'd be great to have him in there, and um, I'd be excited about that, I'm actually quite a big fan of Adam Scott, his swing is just magical to watch, to be honest. I'm gonna go ahead and put a prediction that Adam Scott is going to be in the game, alright, that's a prediction of mine. Patrick Reed, I mean, he could be in it. He wasn't in Roy McIlroy. He wasn't as prevalent back then as well. Patrick Cantley, the same way. 
Um, but one thing I will say about Patrick Reed is like, they'll probably ring Patrick Reed up and they'll be like, so Patrick Reed, you want to be in this video game? And he's like, no, get the fuck out of my face. Cause he's just not a nice guy. <laughs> but, um, one that I really want to see that I'd love to see. And I actually saw, I think one of the tweets here, um, where is it? One of the top replies anyway, to one of the tweets was Tommy Fleetwood needs to be in this game or the person needs uh, deciding needs to be fired, basically. So that's one that I'd love to see. Tommy Fleetwood, an Englishman, and uh, he's just got nice luscious hair that we'd be able to see in the game. You know, that would be a really cool one because he's a, a new golfer on the scene as well. Well, he's not that new, but like, you know, he's kind of bursting onto the scene. He's in the top 10 in the world now. That would be a great acquisition to have. And um yeah, just overall, I'd, l I'd love to see Tommy in the game. He's a great dude. He's an Everton fan like myself. So we respect that, Tommy. We respect that. Bryson DeChambeau has been confirmed for the game. Xander Shoffley. A lot of people were saying in the trailer that they thought they saw Xander Shoffley in the trailer. I believe it was one of the screenshots. It does look a little bit similar. So uh, people were kind of... Um People were saying that that's him and that he's in the game. So that's a possibility. Also, Tony Fino from the back in one of the screenshots, it really looked like him. So I think those two, you might be able to chalk them down for PGA Tour 2K21. So say Fino and Shoffley are in the game, that would bring the grand total to five golfers. Now, if I had to choose, if I had to choose six more without EA golfers, golfers that were in the Rory game or without Tiger, these are the golfers I would pick, right? I'd pick Kepka, that would be one, that would bring us to six. I'd put I'd pick Scott, that would bring us to seven. Um, I'd pick Tommy Fleetwood 100 percent That would bring us to eight. Um, I'd pick Justin Rose million percent i'd love to see justin rose in this game but i think justin rose might might have been in rory was justin rose in rory i need to look that up i i actually don't think justin rose was in rory mcelroy so that would be a great one to have that would be such a good addition uh, but those would be the top picks for me to be honest and then you can add in whoever after that. Oostazen would be cool. Shane Lowry maybe to have an Irish guy in there. Or Graham McDowell, something like that. Mark Leishman's a definite possibility. He's uh, getting better and better as time goes on. So that could be a good one. Tyrrell Hatton would be a funny one to have in there. The little gangster. Maybe Hideki Matsuyama for a bit of diversity there. Because um, he's obviously a great golfer as well. And um, he's a pretty big name. So it would be cool to have Hideki in there. Some of the lower ranked guys that have... A good name, like a, a big name, I would say, would be Lee Westwood, would be possible. Billy Horschel, maybe. Uh, Rafa Cabrera Bale, Brand Snedeker, Graham McDowell, Jason Day. I think Jason Day was in Rory McIlroy, but I could be wrong. Jason Day is out of the top 50 in the world. That's fucking crazy to think about, and so is Jordan Spieth. If you told me that a couple of years ago, I'd laugh in your face that Jason Day and Jordan Spieth would both be outside the top 50. Those two were absolutely, like, at one point, the best in the world. That's crazy. But yeah, these are just my early thoughts on who I think is going to be in the game and who is confirmed. So we have three golfers confirmed. Justin Thomas, we got Matt Kuchar here, and we got Bryson DeChambeau here. Can you beat the scientist? Can you beat Cooch? So the way they're phrasing this and the way they're marketing it is that can you beat them? So I'm assuming that you're going to be facing off against them in career mode rather than being able to play as them in uh, quick play. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for me today. I thought I'd update you guys with some news and kind of go over what I think about uh, the players going forward in the game. Apparently they'll be releasing... Uh, or sorry, announcing new golfers every day. So stay tuned to the channel. I'll definitely update you guys when they've announced another couple at least. So um, I think tomorrow they might announce another two or three or something like that. And we'll see as time goes on. I'll definitely report back to you guys. It's been my pleasure to serve you and I'll see you next time. Remember to subscribe to stay tuned. Turn on your notifications. I'll have a Last of Us review coming on the 12th. And I'll also be doing the PS5 games reveal tomorrow. Um, we'll, we'll be doing a live stream. I'll be going live about 8.15 British Standard Time if you want to check out all of the next generation games. Maybe we'll see some PGA Tour stuff on there. I'm not sure, but I'll see you guys in the future. Peace out.